Hello everyone, here we are again with yet another update for the OnStar for Bikes project, working title of course. Uh, today I spent most of the day trying to get the ADC converter working, uh, that is an analog to digital converter. Uh, the Arduino comes with a 10-bit uh, ADC converter, which does not provide me enough resolution since I am measuring plus minus 200 Gs of force with the accelerometer. I am using the ADS1015 uh, with a breakout board courtesy of Adafruit, and this will let me measure uh, theoretically between uh, a value of 0 to 4096 on a 3.3-volt uh, input. Unfortunately, due to the nature of these ADC converters um, and the gain uh, measuring and, and not blowing up the damn thing, I can only get a range of 0 to 1650, which is all right, because that lets me measure up to um, a resolution of 2 millivolts. That is one bit uh, on the 0 to 1650 range uh, corresponds to two millivolts, which is roughly one third of a G uh, based on the uh, capacity of this chip. So now what you'll see is an actual live graphing, unlike before where it was just showing uh, the accident detection and beeping. You'll see when I shake it, you'll see that uh, the volts are measured or the, um, the graphing is proportional to, to the shaking. Uh, of my device. And the cool thing is, is that these numbers are now finally fixed and, and zeroed in, so I can just begin to calculate the actual g-forces being uh, uh, thrown by my hand or, or my flicks or drops. And uh, from here we'll start to implement a little dash here, here, and here that talks about um, you know the most significant g-force that you'll see in a single run across the screen. Uh, hopefully we can begin to see what actual g-force values uh, happen when I shake the device, click, uh, flick the device, and eventually uh, ride my bike on the dev uh, with the device attached to it. Uh, from there, again, we can begin to establish a, uh, a safe playground in which G-forces are generated or exerted on my bike when I'm just biking around. And then from that, we can determine a threshold uh, higher above it where accidents might occur. Um, the cool thing is, is that since the, 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 the sampling rate of the ADC is currently, I believe, set at uh, a thousand samples a second. Uh, this guy provides uh, actual data, 50 samples a second. And uh, of course, the uh, Arduino does 16 megahertz. So the limiting factor is the, uh, is the accelerometer at 50 hertz, uh, which is better than the thousand default uh, because of a noise thing. And that way I am sure that the data communication and all of this extra digital componentry is not slowing down the read uh, from this guy uh, in case we miss a significant spike because we all know an accident uh, the the forces of smacking immediately happens in fractions of a second and that is the most important part uh, uh, the most important thing that I capture is that I capture the mo like the uh, that little little moment where the spike is huge if I miss that if the samples between two only get the very beginning not the big spike and only a little bit of the end it won't trigger it will not trigger uh, an accident, and that is not good. So, thankfully, all of this wizardry and all this stuff I spent hours and hours working on today and yesterday um, will not get in the way of a fast sample rate, which is 500 times a second. I think that's pretty sufficient for measuring uh, an accident delta. So, that's the update. Uh, thanks for you know listening to my boring talk for uh, four minutes. If you have any questions about what I'm doing, because uh, I mean this is all pretty fairly technical. I only learned half of it today. Uh, feel free to ask me, uh, send me a comment, send me an email. I'm more than happy to, to tell you the, the details of this, which is basically how the hell do I uh, represent uh, G-forces that happen in real life uh, in, in a number, and how can I you know, use math to take that number and, and give it a human readable output from the machine. And that was basically the goal of today. Thanks for watching. Hope you're excited.